Aquarius, and thank you for coming to my channel. This is your bi-weekly from now until the beginning of May. I apologize for the delay. This is the third time I'm doing Aquarius, Aries, and Capricorn. For some reason, I can't get them to upload, so we will try it again. So, Spirit Angels, what messages do you have for Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus for from now until the beginning of May? Okay. So, you guys are letting cycles complete. Oh, beautiful. Wow, Aquarius. Wow. The bottom of the deck is the fool. So, for a group of you, you are allowing... Um, allowing change, you're allowing things to come to an end, you're completing things. Uh, let me get my clarifiers out here so I have an idea. All right. Wow. Your bottom of the clarifying deck is the Nine of Pentacles in the reverse, spiritually guided to... Um, to heal and become strong, your own person, your independence. Uh, you're allowing things to end with an air sign who was very reckless, didn't think before they spoke or acted, um, very careless, didn't didn't really care about um, who they hurt in the in the road to what they wanted to get. And you're allowing things with this person to uh, come to a complete end. You, for a group of you, you are filing for divorce or divorce uh, proceedings are ending and it's being clarified by the backside of the Ten of Pentacles. So this is definitely a relationship coming to an end. Car your karma has been dealt with. Um, things are going to balance out. Um, there is something, however, a group of you are not allowing to fall away. Um, but in time you will. I do see you... Uh, I do see you putting in the work to heal this, and that's what it is. You're not allowing, or you're not quite there yet. You're not quite completely healed from this um, marriage ending or relationship ending. You guys didn't necessarily have to be married, but um, be patient. You are working on it. It will come to you. Healing is on its way. Um, for a group of you, the last week of April, you have a choice you're going to have to make. You have a choice between starting a new relationship with two different people and um, no, it's not two people. You have a choice between one person that's making a love offer and deciding whether to be by yourself, self-love. Um, either one you choose, it's spiritually guided, so it's going to be um, no matter what you choose, you can't go wrong. Um, for the group of you that is choosing a relationship with somebody else, it is going to be very successful. It's cause for celebration and it's successful because you have the wheel of fortune here. You have manifested this to you. You have brought this relationship into you. Um, you're, uh, yeah, you are on the good side of karma now. The karmic scales up here are being balanced right underneath it is the wheel of fortune definite good karma coming into you and it's going to be cause to celebrate um yeah spirit is um saying though be careful to not get stuck in your memories um with the queen of swords here as we know she's the the card of the divorced female um there is a woman coming into your life aquarius she is a gemini she is also divorced she is going to help you um, bring financial success to your company. You are an, uh, uh, your, uh, you own your own business. She's going to come in and instruct you on things you can do or guide you, lead you, things you can do to increase income through your business. And this will be a success. She's coming in in the last couple days of April. <clears throat> in the first week of May, Spirit is saying to follow your intuition, go within, get grounded. The Queen of Wands here, as we see, she's just completely, she's got her eyes closed. She's in, in, um, surrounded by nature, beauty. She's got her feet in the lush grass. So we're just saying to go outside to get grounded, to, to do something out in Mother Nature. 
Um, you are going to hear in meditation what your next move should be. Um, and you're not telling somebody something. You're keeping a secret and it's about your spirituality. It's about your growth. Um, but whatever you're asking, you're going to hear it in meditation. Spirit's answer is going to come to you in meditation. So make sure you are taking um, full advantage of your time that you are sitting in silence, which is yourself, clearing your mind, because it's going to come to you and you don't want to miss it. Uh, for a group of you, you are not allowing an earth sign back in your life. Uh, yeah, you're turning your back to this earth sign that's making an offer to you. You're going to get a message from an earth sign and you, this earth sign broke your heart and you're going to let them know that you're moving on. You're moving on alone and don't follow me is what I just heard. So, uh, yeah, so get grounded. This, this person coming in the first week of May is somebody from your past. Somebody that you've had a relationship with in the past and they broke your heart. They're wanting to come back and make this uh, offer to you. Yeah, and you're going to refuse because you're still heartbroken over them. This is the death card in reverse. This is what you are not um, healed from yet. But you're going to find healing and you're going to find it when you move away. When you move uh, or when you break the chains from this person is what I'm hearing. Um, another group of you, you are literally moving. Spirit and Angels, what advice do you have? What advice can I share? Aquarius, and rising and Venus, please. Yeah, Spirit's saying don't hold back your emotions. Don't um, become so enclosed that you're cutting off healing. Um, you need to break that wall down, even from yourself. You just don't. Yeah, secrets are coming out. And it's, yeah, it's going to break your heart. The first, the last couple days in May, or in April, I'm sorry. That's why you're going to have to choose this person or self-love. Either person you're going to, either way you're going to choose, it's, you're going to be okay. But this choice is coming up because secrets are coming out. So, um, allow those secrets to come out and make sure you deal with them. But for the group of you that are, um choosing somebody, choosing love, you're going to be very successful because this person was brought into you because of your good karma. And spirit saying, don't hide anything from them. Don't hide your past. You have nothing to be ashamed of. Your past is your past. And um, so don't hide it from them because they're going to love you no matter what. And um, spirit's advice for the first week of May, don't move on too fast without telling them the truth of how you feel of how of what is going on don't don't be in such a hurry that you're not um yeah don't be in such a hurry that you uh that you just shuffle your feelings to the side like you know don't be so quick to move on that you don't deal with your pain first that's what i was trying to get out that was hard <laughs> So, all right, Aquarius, that's what I got for you guys from now until uh, the beginning of May. I hope you guys have a beautiful end to your April. Stay positive, stay strong. Good karma is coming your way, and it is going to be cause to celebrate. You guys have made huge strides with uh, allowing this uh, time in your life to, to, um, to move forward. And you will get over this heartbreak. It won't be here forever. So I will see you guys next time. God bless.